Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you how I determine what quote currency to use when deploying an automated crypto trading bot. And by the end of the video, I will actually be deploying a grid bot on the Bitscap platform. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an all-in-one trading platform I have started to use their trading terminal quite a bit for my day trading. They also offer arbitrage, demo trading, or paper trading. But today, I will be deploying one of their grid bots after I determine what quote currency to use. Now, if you're wondering what kind of investment is required to get started with Bitscap, you can actually start for free. I will leave a link in the description down below. And with that link, you'll get a 14 day free trial of the pro plan. And that's the type plan that I actually use. Now, after that 14 day free trial, you can get started for as little as $19 a month. And that will get you two active trading bots. Now, if you think you're going to deploy more than two grid bots, you can step up to the advanced plan for $44 and that will get you up to five trading bots. And in reality, I typically have somewhere between five to 10 grid trading bots running at any time on this particular platform. And so for most of you, the advanced plan might work best for you. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get into the weeds. So when you're getting ready to deploy a grid bot or any bot or even day trading, you need to decide what pair you want to trade. And your pair is made up of a base currency and the quote currency. The base currency is in this situation, ADA, and your quote currency is the second currency in the pair. And in this case, that is USDT. Now, with that being said, I will often trade with a quote currency of BTC. And one of the reasons I like to use BTC as my quote currency is I want my profits being paid to me in Bitcoin. My objective in that case is to stack sats or to stack up Bitcoin in the form of profit, therefore increasing the amount of Bitcoin I hold. However, there's risk involved when you don't use a stable coin like USDT. With a stable coin of USDT, the, your quote currency should be pegged to the US dollar, which would be $1. And therefore, it does not fluctuate in price. So all you need is your base currency, in this case, it would be GRT, to go up and you would be profitable. And so you can see in this example, GRT versus USDT is up almost 3%, where versus BTC, it's actually down 2%. And that is because BTC as a quote currency fluctuates in price and right now BTC is hitting all time new highs and therefore it's outperforming the base currency in this case GRT. So you're probably wondering when is a good time to use BTC as your quote currency and one tool that is available to you is the BTC dominance chart and you can actually search for that chart on TradingView by simply typing in BTC dot D and that will pull up the Bitcoin dominance chart for you. And you can see I've dropped in a couple yellow lines on this chart. Those are lines I look at when I'm doing my recon. And typically when Bitcoin breaches the 70 level, it is often due for a pullback or you can also use RSI for overbought and you'll see eventually we get the pullback because we broke the 70 level. I also look at the 60 level. Oftentimes that's where Bitcoin comes in and bounces off of. But if I can get it to break down below that, a lot of times that's a positive sign for altcoins. And so there's a lot of different ways to read this chart. And I broke out a few examples for you. And so the Bitcoin dominance using the BTC.D chart, if the Bitcoin dominance is increasing and Bitcoin is increasing, typically your altcoins will be decreasing. Now, if Bitcoin dominance is increasing, but the Bitcoin price is decreasing, oftentimes altcoins will be dumping. Now, if BTC dominance is increasing, but Bitcoin is stable, as in moving sideways, your altcoin prices will often be stable. 
Now, on the flip side, if BTC dominance is decreasing, but Bitcoin price is increasing, that typically indicates we're in alt season. Uh, Bitcoin is increasing. Your altcoins are increasing more so typically than Bitcoin because Bitcoin dominance is decreasing. Now, next, if the BTC dominance is decreasing and BTC price is decreasing, your altcoins are typically stable. And then lastly, if we look at BTC dominance decreasing and the Bitcoin price is stable, your altcoins typically will be increasing. Now, it's extremely important to understand the asterisk here. The market can react irrationally and none of this will apply. These are more like guidelines than actual rules. The code is more what you call guidelines than actual rules. So if we jump back over to the Bitcoin dominance chart and we can see this recent push up to Bitcoin all time highs, these are daily candles. The Bitcoin dominance started to increase. Well, what happened? Your altcoin prices started to decrease. And that's exactly what you saw when you had alts paired with BTC as a quote currency. You were in a losing position. We saw the BTC dominance increasing, BTC price increasing, and therefore the alts were decreasing. And now the dominance is starting to pull back a little. We are starting to see the altcoins pick up a little. So if we jump back over to Bitscap, if you recall a couple videos ago, I actually deployed a bot on GRT BTC. And unfortunately that bot ended up getting stopped out. As you can see, the status is a stop loss. And so like clockwork, Bitcoin dominance kicked in, the Bitcoin price kicked in, and therefore the performance of GRT versus BTC bled off. And I was stopped out based on my stop loss. And that is precisely why I put a stop loss in place so that I can regroup and redeploy. And in this case, I will be redeploying based on my new recon and the intel that I gathered during that recon. And something I want to comment on over in the recon trader telegram group, there was a question of what should I be more concerned about the bot profit or the basically total profit and the answer is the total profit and you can see that this bot actually averaged on a daily basis the one percent profit that i'd want it to make and for the seven days that it was live it did produce a seven percent profit however because of the price difference it ended up losing and i did capture some profit in the form of btc which the fact that BTC price went up benefits me. However, my total profit was still a loss, which again, that's trading. You're going to have losses and I'm perfectly fine with that. But I capped those losses with a stop loss. But it's extremely important to understand you can have outstanding bot performance and still come up on the losing end. So the answer to that question is you focus on the total profit, not bot profit. All right, so let's go ahead and get a new bot deployed. And so the first thing I do is typically choose an exchange. And in this case, I'll be using Binance. The next step is your pair. And I have the choices here on GRT of BTC, BUSD, ETH, Euro, and USDT. Well, the environment has changed since I deployed this bot originally. Originally, when I deployed this bot, and the reason I chose BTC other than the fact to accumulate BTC was if we jump back over here, the BTC dominance was decreasing. The Bitcoin price was stable and therefore alts were increasing. And obviously that changed. And, and with that change came this loss. And so in today's market, I know Bitcoin's price is increasing. However, since it has hit an all time new high, we may see it become more stable and start to move sideways. Bitcoin dominance has increased. So I have no desire to deploy this bot on GRT BTC as and BTC being the quote currency. So I'm going to deploy this on a stable coin USDT. Now I need to determine my lower level. And I'm going to put that at 140. And how I determine my lower levels is typically on previous support. 
And then my upper level is going to be around the 220 mark, which is previous resistance. And I'm actually going to fine tune that into the 220 range. And that's going to be my previous resistance. Now, with that being said, GRT has the capability of moving up and above this upper price limit. However, that doesn't concern me because Bitsgap offers the trailing up feature, which I will enable. And that will allow the grid to follow the price action up. So now I have my upper and lower levels established on prior support and prior resistance. And another factor I look at when I'm deploying a bot other than the quote currency resistance and support is I want this price generally in the middle of the zone. And I see the price is pretty close to being in the middle of the zone. And if I looked at the higher prices for GRT, it's probably actually a little lower than the middle of the zone, which is ideal. So now I need to figure out the grid spacing and the grid spacing is going to be the distance between the red and green lines. And so the bot will buy when the price is moving down each time that it hits one of these green lines or the limit buy orders. And in a similar fashion as the price is moving up and hitting the red lines or the limit sell orders, the bot will sell for profit. And I need to figure out the spacing between each one of these lines. Grid step, and it's also important to note right now I'm testing this on the classic bot strategy. They offer two different bot strategies and I'm gonna test it on both, but the first one will be the classic bot. And so for my grid levels, I'm gonna start with 50 and I'll back test that grid spacing. All right, so that grid spacing looks good. It looks like I would make that 1% a day, but it's important to note that your back test is past performance, not future performance. It's provided merely for the fact of doing recon. However, with that being said, it looks like I don't have enough USDT available, so I can actually adjust the grid by clicking on the adjust grid, and that will bring me into having enough USDT to deploy this particular bot. But with doing so, let's see what happens to the back test results. Ah, they drop a little, they don't drop dramatically. And so I'm still at a satisfactory back test. Now the classic bot performs best when the price is moving up. If we look at the longer term chart for GRT, it's really while it's a big range, it, it really is just moving sideways. So let's see how the S bot would perform in comparison to the classic bot. So we set our levels again. All right, so now I have the grid levels configured for the S bot based on the amount of USDT I have available. And if we back test, I've lost about 1% as far as the three day results go. So. I'm going to deploy this bot on the classic bot. It fits more within what my strategy would be. And so I need to set up my lower level again. And then my grid levels were 43 and approximately 0.86% grid spacing. And that's the amount of space between each grid. And I need to turn the trailing up on, hit the back test again, just to confirm. And again, we're almost at 2% per day as far as the back test results go. So that's looking good to me. Now, one of the last things I need to do, I have the option of a take profit level. I don't typically enable the take profit level, but you could set that at say 30%. If the bot hit 30% profit, it would shut down and you would lock in your 30% profit. But with that being said, I will not enable that, but I will enable the stop loss. And if you've watched enough of my videos, you know my theory on the stop loss and it worked perfectly on the GRT BTC pairing I had deployed. It gave me a chance to minimize my losses, regroup, and I'm now redeploying based on the new intel I got after doing recon. And with that being said, remember trading without a stop loss is like going into battle without armor. You're going to get killed. And my stop loss level, I'm going to set at 120. And that's typically based on previous levels of support. Plus I try to give it room to maneuver. And I also want to stress that I don't trade crap coins. A lot of you already know that. And I trade coins that I believe have value and will have value, say three to five years from now. 
I would actually be willing to hold this coin long term and I actually do hold some of these coins long term that I don't actually trade and so I have no problem if this price were to move against me and I end up holding these coins for the long term again I don't trade the crap coins I'm not looking for 15% return in one day on a grid bot you might look for that on a day trade or a swing trade but when it comes to a grid bot I'm just looking for slow accumulation of profit or I'm fine accumulating the coin that I believe in as the price goes down I'm buying at a lower level so now we're ready to deploy the bot the last thing to do is hit the start button and you get a note that it's necessary to buy 127 GRT since I don't own 127 GRT on the Binance exchange and it's going to buy those at market price yes buy and the market order was placed and instantly filled and the reason I needed to buy GRT was to satisfy the sell limit orders that are going to be part of this grid and the bot has started and that pretty much wraps it up I saw a lot of questions of folks asking how to choose what quote currency should I be trading alts versus BTC or alts versus USDT and hopefully by giving you a weapon like the Bitcoin dominance chart and kind of an explanation of how to use that will help guide you in making that decision also a good reason to use BTC is to accumulate BTC in the form of profit however keep in mind your altcoin has to outperform your quote currency or BTC in order to capture profit and so if you like this video do me a favor and spike a like I will do an update video in the near future on how this bot is performing so now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss those videos in the future if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down in the comment section below or you can jump over to the recon traders telegram community page and shoot your questions over there I will put a link in the description down below for that 14 day free trial of Bitscap. and in closing remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video